Now, if you're like me, you're probably one of those people that's really getting sick of doing the tactical kills challenge. I've seen a lot of different methods on how this is done, and a lot of methods out there are good. However, some methods are floating around and people are actually trying these methods, and it's leading to a lot of misleading information. But what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Primitive AK here, showcasing you guys the best and most efficient method to get tactical kills for your camos. Now, a lot of the camos require tactical kills. I think there's roughly about 100 to 150 of them total across all of the weapons and one of the challenges if you guys saw in the intro clip was to actually get hit fire kills with while getting a tactical kill at the same time and that can be quite annoying especially in the wsp swarm luckily i got that done in literally one game now to do this uh there are certain maps that you need to play and there are is uh, there is also a certain class setup that you need to use so first things first i want to get some misconceptions out of the way one of the big things that i've seen with this challenge are people are saying that you can use stim shots all right i don't know who started spreading that rumor but let me make it clear guys stim shots do not work all right don't use them if anyone's telling you that stim shots work they're wrong all right just don't do it uh some people are saying that it counts i'm telling you now it's never counted for me it's never worked for me and it's never worked for a lot of people so just do yourself a favor don't waste your time throwing on stuns now what flashbangs also work however there's a caveat with the flashbangs and that's that with the flashbangs uh the enemy has to be completely flashed for this to work if at any point they're able to start seeing what's in front of them but they're still partially flashed guess what it doesn't count um so that's why flashbangs can work they're just not really that viable and that's why i stopped using them as well they were very inconsistent decoys i don't know if these actually work i've never tested them some people are saying that they work but as far as i'm concerned um when i had them one because i was using them to get xp they weren't counting when i was actually using these uh to get uh xp with so as far as i know decoy grenades don't work either uh scatter mines do not work either don't bother using those smoke grenades I'm told this works, but I, I haven't actually tried it. Somebody in the comments box is going to have to confirm that for me. Battle Rage does not work. All right. I've tested this also when the game first came out. Did not work. Stun grenades are going to be your best go-tos here. Uh, so I highly, highly, highly recommend you throw in your stun grenades here. These are going to allow you to basically slow down your enemy. And as long as they are slowed down and you kill them while they are slowed down, even if they have tack mask on, it'll still count. So this is going to be the most consistent equipment that you're going to want to use to get this one done here. You're also going to want to change your vests. I highly recommend you use the engineer vest because this is going to give you two tacticals for every time you spawn in. On top of that, you want to change your field upgrade over to munitions box. Excuse me, voice crack. Uh, you want to change your munitions box here as your field upgrade because this will also give you extra stuns whenever you... If you notice you're on a streak and you don't want to die, you have one of these bad boys, just go ahead and pop this and you'll be able to get extra ammo as well as an extra tactical to go with it. Otherwise, if you don't care about dying, just, you know, let the enemy kill you, then respawn, you get two extra tacticals here yet again. Uh, so that's pretty much the class setup. The weapon, obviously, make sure you're using the weapon that you need the tactical kills on. Um, now let's talk about maps. Uh, there are a few maps, because I know a lot of people are playing certain maps that really just aren't good here. Um, and the reason for that is because you want to play a predictable map. Now there's two predict or three predictable maps in the game right now. That is Rust, Meat, and also uh, Shipment. Now unfortunately, Rustment or Rust and Shipment playlist is not in the game at the time of making this video. Uh, however, this playlist will be coming back in about four days and one hour and six minutes, according to what I'm seeing in front of me. But you can do this in Meat 24-7 playlist. This is a very, very close quarters map. There are a lot of places where you can pre-stun, where you could stun the enemy, kind of toy with the enemy a bit and get your stun kills. Uh, so pretty much, like I said, Meat is a very, very good map to get this done. And they also spawn way back behind the garage. You can actually catch them in their spawn there. You usually get about two or three stun kills there. Very easy to get done. Like I said, you have to do this on a small map. Rust also is very predictable. You can get it done there. Shipment is probably going to be the best go-to option overall when it does come back. Now, you can find Shipment in your regular 6v6 playlist. However, I would if you're looking for Shipment to come back, it'll be back next week. So I would, uh, if you want to wait out the four days, you can do so. But like I said, Me 24-7 is a great playlist to get this done in. So just to recap, once again, you need to make sure you have your engineer vest on. You need to make sure you have your dual stuns on as well. I don't recommend using any other tactical stuns going to get the job done. Uh, and also 
Like I said, your field your field upgrade will want to be munitions box as well to get this bad boy done. And like I said, you'll want to catch the enemies in their spawn. Knowing the spawn system helps a lot as well. As you guys can see in the first clip, I actually knew the spawns and I knew where they were going to be. So I decided to kind of priest on that uh, towards that clip. And I managed to catch four people in one stun grenade. So you can get it done. It is possible. Like I said, if you have any questions or anything that I didn't clarify in this video, let me know down below. But by far, this is the most efficient method. You want to limit it to the maps that I mentioned. And hopefully this helps you guys get your challenges done anyways we got more camo videos on the way and if you guys have a challenge that you're struggling on let me know in the comments box down below and i may make a video on it and shout you guys out i'll catch you guys in the next one though drop a like drop a sub it's your boy primitive ak signing out peace out fellas